Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here, a bit dusty and dirty. This will piss off my wife because she says I'm basically like, uh, who? Um, Pigpen. Pigpen from uh, Charlie Brown. Because I got a cloud of dust that's following me. Woo! But it's all good because these hands, these hands, can't believe they still work as old as I am. Can do some magical shit here. Um, I'm in here in the workshop working on some racks and some other projects and things. And um, working on this yesterday during our live stream. And it's progressing rather well. Woo! Got the TV on. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Got all this dust. Ah. Okay. Got the TV on with the talking heads. It's amazing because I tell you how you know when a quarterback is made it. When they start using him for comparison purposes. So earlier today, I heard him talking about Justin Fields. And they were saying, Justin Fields, man, he's going to be a great NFL quarterback. He's just like Dak Prescott, but with a better arm. He's just like Dak Prescott, but with a better arm. Well, that, that remains to be seen. Um, we've actually had a lot of guys with great arms that weren't good quarterbacks. I mean, I could look at Jeff George and say that guy couldn't lead anybody um, anywhere. But then they started talking about Baker Mayfield. Okay. We're doing a segment about Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield. You, suck. you know, Baker Mayfield. Should uh, the Browns trust Baker Mayfield? You know, that they, they got him to a playoff. Should they look at keeping him or say look at upgrading? And one person is like, dude, we're talking about the Browns. Dude, Browns ain't been in the playoffs in forever. Okay? They made the playoffs. Don't change shit. You got something at work. Don't mess it up. But then they said, well, the problem, of course, is, well, will Baker Mayfield go the Dak Prescott route? And will he look at it and say, I should be paid like a number one quarterback? And it's kind of like, no matter what, Dak is always brought up. At least now, at least now, um, you're not hearing about the Russell Wilson stuff. So right now, um, we're hearing that Seattle is not happy about Russell Wilson's uh, whole campaign of going around the NFL and basically throwing them under the bus. And allegedly maybe listening to teams make offers. And so now they're talking about the Raiders um, and Mike Mayock thinking that maybe Russell Wilson will be a fit with the Raiders. Well, that, that would be interesting. Um, I, I tell you why I think it wouldn't be bad per se. I got to imagine that if Russell Wilson went to Vegas, that Sierra would probably be okay with it. Uh, thinking that she could probably end up having one of these casinos sponsor her whole gig like Celine Dion. You know what I'm saying? It'd be just, hey, Vegas happy. And Vegas, you know, is, is only about four hours from L.A. And it don't rain in Vegas very often like Seattle. You know, Seattle, they got plenty of coffee and stuff. But, you know, that's one of those moves that could actually make, uh, make sense. David Carr. I'm picking up the phone yesterday. He's everything. David Carr. Wow. So David Carr, his brother, okay, is saying, I'm picking up the phone yesterday. He's everything you want in a quarterback with endless talent. Oh, oh I got to read this whole thing. So his own brother says, you know what? Derek, your ass. Hold on. Wait, wait. I, I, I got to read this. Okay. Okay, so let, let, let's get this here. So it's coming up. It's coming up. I'll read it to you. Answering Wilson trades. This is a betting show, by the way. More money for the NFL. Okay, I, I rewound it too far. Sorry. So, okay, David Carr. I am picking up the phone yesterday. He is everything wow. you want to call. Really? With endless talent, 
So David Carr, let's say, okay, I love this. So David Carr says, I'm picking up the phone yesterday. He's everything you want in a quarterback with endless talent, arm strength, poise, intelligence, plus he has the kind of ice in his veins that gives his team a chance to win late in games, no matter how great the deficit. You know, I would imagine Thanksgiving won't be too much fun around that household, you know, if, if you're invited. Because you just literally threw your brother under the bus. Now, you're the same guy who I think was talking about your brother should be an MVP. And now you're saying, get Russell Wilson, like yesterday. You just forgot that your own family is there. That That's amazing to me. But, you know, everything is crazy. So the final thing I got for you here while I'm, you know, blowing out some of this dust out my lungs is somebody had tweeted out that Dak Prescott's contract may be done sooner than later. And of course, Tad, Tad never won to miss a tweet. Definitely like that. So maybe Tad knows something that we don't. But I dare say this. I dare say this, that I believe it's going to happen soon. Because Tuesday, of course, is the end of the franchise tag. The Cowboys want to get this thing done because they want to have some money to be able to do some moves of free agency and so on. And the best thing they can do to get money for that is get Dak Prescott signed to a deal. And in the end, I don't know what else is holding it up because the price literally has gone up each year. You can It's not like it's a guess. You went from 30 to 35 to 40, I still think it's 44, which is what I said about a month ago, if you'll remember. And, um, Dak haters, well, y'all just going to have to hate. Wow. Derek Carr threw his brother under the bus. Man. Well, I'm, I'm going to give you guys one more quick look at this piece over here that I'm working on. Got to sand all this out so we can get it varnished. Ooh. I love my curves. I'm Mark Holmes, and well... I'm tired, and I got to go cook dinner, cook some fried chicken tonight. I made some keto potato salad with cauliflower instead of potatoes. Ooh, it tastes like potato salad. Let's see if the chicken is just as good. Hmm. This is solid mahogany not plywood not particle board not veneer solid wood this is seven pieces of wood laminated together to make this look at that I challenge you to find out where the joints well you can this, this is one because I haven't sanded it yet but that's what it looked like but that's a joint, that's a joint, that's a joint. That's a joint, that's one, and that's one. But once it's been stained and varnished, ooh, it's gonna be pretty. I right, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you later.